watch us live, um, you can actually catch us on our Facebook page, like the Mubuhaya Facebook page. Okay, um, I guess we can uh, start and I think Chef is ready for us. Um, Keep sharing, keep liking, you know, just just keep us in the background, you know, because uh, <laughs> you might learn <laughs> you might learn something new from Mike and from Chef, not from me. I don't think I don't have anything new to um, uh, give you, but uh, we'll try to make you laugh at least. Yeah, we can. We can. Uh, yeah, we can. We can build up the crowd a little bit. See if we hit at least ten. Maksumpu man lang ano ba naman kayo? Sampu na man. Ay na eight na. Next share na ako. Even my husband Mike already shared it. So. Yeah, and, and hopefully a lot of people will be watching us later as well when um, when we upload it on our page. Um, but yeah, so uh, Mike, um, let's just play the clip really quick. Um, so we're going to show you a little clip of um, Chef Morris and when he won the competition in Italy before we get him to hop in in our um, live chat today. Um, Hell's Kitchen. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah of uh, his restaurant in London. 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 Buongiorno, Chef Morris. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Chef Morris. Thank you so much for inviting me. Buongiorno. Buonasera. <laughs> that's, the, that, that's the only Italian words that I know. <laughs> Buongiorno and grazie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Amici. Amico, amico is uh, singular, and the amici is for plural. Plural form. Uh, yeah. Okay. How are you guys doing? Good. Cool, cool. Great, great. We, we've yeah. got a nice weather today, so everything is awesome. Awesome. Summer is coming. 
Amazing. And thank you again, Chef, for joining us. It's, it's an honor to have somebody like you um, in our first live stream. And uh, we were talking before and, um, you know, seeing you win this competition makes a lot of Filipinos proud, um, not just here in Canada, but around the world. No? Yung, yung, thank you so much. Yung Filipino pride, you know, you bring it yeah. everywhere you go. And um, that, that's what you have given every Filipino in the world. So thank you. It's my pleasure. It's really my pleasure to, you know, like give some uh, Filipino an inspiration, you know, like uh, you, if you want to do something, like just go for it, you know. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fluent. <laughs> you're, you're so fluent in I was like, uh, <laughs> Italian. Actually, I've, I've been here for like uh, almost five years now. Five years. But the competition was last year, so I was like uh, five, like four years. Well, that time. I actually, when I came here, the first time I came here is like, I didn't know how to speak in Italian. But uh, since I'm in Sicily and I live in a small town, yeah. no one speaks in English. So yeah. I had to learn like in a hard way. <laughs> so, so Sicily, I learned, yeah. Sorry. So Sicily is like in the southern region of um, yes. Italy. Yeah. yeah, southern region. Yeah. But the, the, the point is, um, I live in a small town, so I had to force myself to learn quickly because I have. I also need to work, you know. So basically, my Italian is built up in the kitchen. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, you know, I just talk to the fact to my, our family here, even if I I like do mistakes or say the wrong things, you know. Eventually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my Italian got better. Oh, that's amazing. And again, that, that is like a sign of like adaptability and, you know, I'm getting yeah. like, it's, it's, it's in our blood, you know, yeah. exactly. Like we, we adapt so well, um, you know, wherever we go, we adapt so well. But anyway, chef, today you'll be uh, doing a cooking demo for us. Sure. Um, a surprise. I'm going to do one uh, easy pasta recipe which I'm going to use a special pasta. It's called uh, uh, lasagna oh, wow. riccia. You know? So it has the curls in it. It's so beautiful. And uh, I'm going to cook it with uh, some pea and basil cream. And of course, we are here in Sicily, so I'm going to use our uh, seafood. Yeah. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a twist. It's like I'm going to put some uh, Filipino uh, yes. twist on it. So I'm going to use our oh, coconut wow. To cook the seafood. So it gives you that uh, rich so, Filipino flavor. Pumunta talaga po kayo yeah, chef yeah. sa Pinas, kumuha kayo ng, co ng, ano, ng coconut. <laughs> 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 yeah, actually. <laughs> uh, pero in yeah, fairness, yeah. how far is Italy from? Uh, so, like, just out of curiosity. Oh. It's like uh, our... Time gap is like oh, seven so hours. Oh, closer. But oh, wow, seven hours still. Yeah. That's still a big time gap. No, I mean, uh, I mean the, yeah. uh, the the time difference. But to travel with uh, by flight is like twenty three hours from the Philippines. Twenty three hours. Twenty three hours. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, at yeah. least the flight that I took. You have five connections. Na connect pa si Chef sa Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but, but chef, um, you know, like since you were a winner in a competition, I'm gonna be competing with you today. Oh, sure. <laughs> what are you cooking for today? While you are making pasta, uh, I'm making a roast pork, pork loin. Pork but, loin. Um, 
It takes about an hour to bake it. So um, it's ready, fired up in the oven. And uh, oh, so I'll show what, you later. So yeah, Chef, nice. what Paolo's <laughs> trying to say is he's cheating because he started cooking now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really know who cooked it. <laughs> That's true. I'm going to be used to create the whole pot. Joke lang. <laughs> and I, Chef, will not be cooking, but I will, I guess, be the moderator between the comments. So comment section, let us know who you think is going to win this competition ahead of time. Do you think it will be Chef Morris or do you think That's it's going right. to be Paolo? <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, you can do a virtual, like a virtual yes. uh, tasting. That's right. <laughs> can you do that? Well, if my <laughs> husband is judging, I already won. So that means, that means, chef, if your wife is there, you yeah. should get your wife to taste it for you, to be the judge, to let us know if she if oh. won. <laughs> <laughs> People say I won the record. <laughs> okay. Okay, chef, so you yeah. can... You can get cooking, and then, um, yeah, I guess we're just going to ask you a couple of questions yeah. while you cook. Sure, sure. So, uh, first off, I'm going to, I have my uh, pre-boiled water here. So, mm -hmm. I'm using uh, just the frozen uh, green peas. So, this is better to use because uh, it has the vibrant color. It will have the vi vibrant color for our pasta. And then I will mix it with uh, some uh, basin leaf, fresh basin leaves. Okay. Oh, wow. And uh, for the creaminess of our uh, sauce, I'm going to use some of my little secret here is the boiled potato. Oh, so that adds creaminess. Yeah. So from the starch of the potato, we will, we will mm -hmm. do the cream for that. So first off, I will just uh, blanch our uh, green peas. Okay. And then uh, five seconds. I'm gonna take it right away. Five seconds, quick blanch. Yeah, yeah, quick blanch. Chef, are those fresh uh, green peas or are they frozen? It's uh, frozen green peas. Frozen well, green if you piece. if you got some uh, fresh green peas, you can. Uh, so I, I want to know your take yeah. on that, chef. What do you think about frozen vegetables? Like, is it more of just because that's all you have available? Or is it better? Or is a fresh better? Because uh, there's always that comments from yeah. other people that fresh is better, but sometimes frozen is better too. So what's your thought, Chef? Okay, with, uh, with this recipe, I'm going to use yeah. uh, frozen because uh, it's going to oh, be more vibrant. With the blanching? With the blanching. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And actually, believe it or not, uh, this mm -hmm. green piece from Italy, it's still actually it's, oh, it's actually okay. fresh, so it's it, uh, the 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 frozen stuffs here like the vegetables, it's um, oh, wow. seasonal as well. So so, so even the frozen yeah. vegetables are seasonal. Yeah, because uh, you know the the Italian rules are very uh, strict with food, so it it should be fresh even if it's That's frozen. That's crazy. I've never heard of even like seasonal frozen yeah. vegetables. <laughs> That's like correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, because especially in North in North America we yeah, import especially everything. where I am where I'm landlocked in yeah. Alberta. It's like mostly everything is just brought into us. <laughs> everything is imported, that's right. Wow. It's you know, in Italy we've got like uh, the freshest and highest quality ingredients. So and also it's in the culture, you know, like you they need to eat good food. Right. Not just food. So, speaking of uh, culture and uh, Italian food, um, so talk, talk us more about your uh, um, experience in that competition. Okay. So before that, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you oh. what I'm doing right now. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I put the uh, I put it inside the blender, the basil green peas, and I will add some. Uh, some of the water that uh, we used earlier, just to, uh, you know, like uh, loosen up. And I'm gonna add some uh, olive oil. Extra olive oil. version, ba? And some salt and pepper. So it's, it's kind of easy, you know? You can, you can do it at home as well. So you're, you're making a fresh um, basil, uh, it's like pesto. 
Sort of. Pesto, sort of. you need pine nuts. It's, it's, it's still more of a yeah. still more of a cream type. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's important that he, he monitors that. So you know what, Paolo? <laughs> but Paolo, with with you though, uh, what is your favorite type of? Have you eaten a lot of Italian food, Paolo? Yes, um, you know that is one of my most favorite food. Um, you eat a lot of like, you know, like it's it's like a staple food yeah. in like every home, right? Uh, you always make pasta. You always mix spaghetti, and lasagna. The, the funny thing and is, I think Italian food because the joke about Italian food too is like it's carbs on carbs, which I think is also very similar to like Filipino food. <laughs> Filipino food. Yeah, you got you get your bread, you get your pancet, <laughs> yes. you get your or, rice. Or if you're eating like your 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 kanin with your yeah. adobo na may patatas, <laughs> diba? <laughs> so. That's right. <laughs> no, like, yeah, no, so, the, you know, when, when there's like Filipino parties, there's spaghetti, <laughs> pancet, and then rice. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm done with our cream. So, the okay. consistency oh, nice. should be like this. So, it's rice, the cream, the cream. So, it's, it's kind of sweet and uh, savory, you know? And uh, so, yeah, uh, about uh, the oh, competition. Fine. Sorry, guys. That's okay. <laughs> uh, but, we're, we're the actually really interested uh, both in the competition you're cooking right now. Sorry? We're, we're super interested in both the competition and your cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually didn't uh, plan to uh, yeah. join the competition. It was my uh, my mother-in-law. Because she saw, while I was working in the restaurant, she saw... Um, an advertisement on uh, TV that uh, they needed chefs like uh, to do a competition, but they didn't tell anything about about the details and all that. So she said she told me, "Why don't you try to you know to join just for fun? So if you lose, you lose. If you win, you win." And I said, "Okay, why not? <laughs> just to do something, you know, like." Uh, something nice, you know, other than uh, cooking in the kitchen. So I've tried and uh, without, uh, without expecting anything, right? So I went to Milano, I went to Rome for an interview and we, we also did the cook, cook off, like uh, there, like off of the camera. Right. From, so from uh, like uh, at least a thousand of chefs that, uh, uh, how do you say that, mm -hmm. that joined. Yeah down to like 500 and then 100 and then the final uh 56 contestants wow. so that's us so it's kind of hard as well because from sicily to travel to milan and to rome to do this stuff and then thanks to my wife which she's really supportive of everything what i do yeah. so and then uh, from 56 down to 10, and then down to two with uh, Alessio. It's, uh, it's also from Sicily, actually, by the way. Oh, wow. The one from, uh, it's really good. I, I, actually, all of them are really, really great chefs, you know? Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, okay, I will try, but I won't expect anything else. Because, you know, this is their cuisine. This is their blood, their, their culture. Speaking so, of that, Chef, so your uh, passion for cooking, um, when did that start? Like, Passion for cooking? It's like, uh, I before I didn't have any passion for cooking. <laughs> when I was uh, young, I loved to draw. I loved to, I was uh, crazy about drawing, painting, and all that, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the time that my dad got uh, blind, he became yeah. blind. So my mom was abroad and my sister as well. So no one will really take care of my, my dad and my younger brother. So I had to learn how to cook for them. So I was like the mom that time. Out of, and the dad. Out of, out of necessity. Yeah. But then I, I uh, we were poor. So we were poor and uh, whatever I have in the kitchen is like uh, only potatoes. I had to 
uh, use my creativity to do something good out of it. Like Toyo, only Toyo or yeah. Uh, papaya. Yeah. That papaya tree saved our life before. <laughs> no, but yeah, we, we, we were really poor at that time. But that is that shows your resilience and um, how how Filipinos are like in the Philippines. So, um, it, it, you you get everything in your backyard, and we seem to survive. Yeah, and uh, and now you're here. So after that, um, so that that's when you started, kind of like okay, um, cooking is um, is something I want to do. And then um, no, that time. How, how did you? Okay, but how did you start like cooking professionally? Yeah, that time it was like cooking is what I need to do. That that at that moment, but uh, to start loving it, uh, I think when I came to to Italy, I think. But it's still with me all the time. Like I cook for my family and friends, okay. but professionally, I really loved it when I came here with uh, maybe because it's the. Uh, from the Italian culture, like how they are very tied with uh, tied up with cooking, you know. Right. I, I fell in love with that, like to use my creativity to make a dish or cook a dish for for the other people, especially in the restaurant. Yeah. So, and, and and they just have so much respect for cooking, for culinary, and um, for dining. And I guess like yeah. that 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 is very inspiring in that sense yeah know? and uh believe it or not i didn't have any culinary background like i didn't study anything like formal culinary background yeah i i, I studied it by myself and by ex- inside the kitchen for yeah. example. but you've also been to different countries i believe um, yeah. you also work in different countries um you've worked as a personal chef in cambodia how was that Oh, it was hard <laughs> because that time I was young and I said, um, I want to go to Cambodia to try uh, the next level of my life. So yeah. I tried to be a personal chef without any experience how to be a personal chef. So I did everything and uh, learned, learned it by myself, uh, like slowly. But at, after a year, I said, uh, I think cooking is not for me. This, I was so tired. I was so exa- I was so exhausted of everyday work. Yeah. Uh, so I said I'm gonna go back home to study. When I studied, I studied multimedia technology. I said I want to change my career to like uh, to, to be a photographer or a videographer and all yeah. that. So after after I graduated, I went to China because my sister needed some. Uh, member of the band. So I, I, uh, I, <laughs> I work as a singer. And so I you're a singer. <laughs> well, a singer, like, uh, I'm not a good singer. We gotta ask you to sing though. Um, <laughs> we have to. Sorry? We have to ask you to sing. Uh, now, now that you mentioned that you are a singer, uh, I think it's just right to uh, give us some sample while you cook. Okay, so Being before cut. I sing, <laughs> <laughs> okay, before I sing, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna saute our mix, okay. uh, mix wow. food right now before the we get so late. Um, so I have some mussels. By the way, I'm using uh, one clove of garlic without uh, slicing it or without chopping it. Because we're gonna take it out later. We just the want the, 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 the yeah. smell and the, yeah. the flavor. I, I I put some olive oil. So I'm using mussels and uh, some uh, oh, wow. squid. I've got some uh, fresh, uh, I would say gambaretti, from, uh, shrimps from uh, yeah. from Mediterranean Sea. Sometimes it's Should really hard to <laughs> like, talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kasi really kung hard. isipin mo Paolo, ano i- ilang lenguaje ni siya? Tagalog, English, Tagalog, Italy, um, English, uh, Italian. Yes. Oh. And then, di ba nasa yeah. China din siya? So probably so, naturo din si siya mag-Cantonese or Mandarin. Mag- Chinese. Uh, Basic Chinese, you know, just like my survival Chinese <laughs> words <laughs> or phrases. 
Mm-hmm. So while nagigisa, uh, it's time to put our pasta. Okay. So, para sabay-sabay na siya na maluto. Mm-hmm. So, meron na siyang salt. Nilagyan ko na siya kanina. So pag niluluto tayo ng pasta, don't forget to season your water. Kasi right. doon yung lasa ng ating... Uh, Chef, I'm... Um, um, to know all the time when we're cooking pasta how do you know it's al dente uh try it. <laughs> <laughs> some no, people they it. say some people they say like you stick into like this is my mom like saying you know you 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 throw the the pasta oh, on on your ceiling and then when it sticks it's cooked <laughs> <laughs> no, all, like, my mom my mom would say that all the time it's like <laughs> you know, Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day again, ma. But yeah, if you're watching. But yeah, like she she tells me like um, throw it on um, on your ceiling or on the wall if it sticks that is cooked already. Actually, when uh, when we cook the pasta with the water, we we are not finishing the the doneness mm-hmm. on the water. Mm-hmm. So maybe like a uh, half cook inside of the water, and then we'll gonna finish the cooking mm-hmm. with the sauce. But we will let this. The, we will let the pasta absorb the, the taste from the sauce, and as well as the the creaminess of the of the pasta, it's gonna be from the starch of the pasta itself. Okay. Without using any cream, without using any. Yeah. You know. And that's see. So yeah. that's the the, the 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 classic way of cooking. Okay. Mm-hmm. A real Italian way. As well. Pa- mm. Kasi yung uh, yung pasta natin yeah. is American style, di ba? the Pilipinas. So here, hindi namin hinuhugasan yung uh, pasta. Yeah. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> okay, because yeah. like you want that starch to add to the creaminess and thickness yeah. of the sauce. Oh, wow. See, so actually, we, we're gonna use as well like the water, some of the water, pasta water to create the, the cream, oh, the creaminess. Cool. Yeah. Plus the sauce. Especially in our world right now that everything is instant, no? I, I think it's it's really important to learn yeah. all this skill. See, I, yeah. I learned something new today because everything is so instant right now. Um, you pasta noodles, sauce, everything is instant. You can buy it at a grocery store. Yeah, but the quality but I, is not I think the same. It's good to learn how to how to do it, right? Yeah, exactly. And the quality is not the same. Yeah, it's not gonna be the same. It's never gonna be the same like the the ready made. So, I'm gonna put some wine, white wine. Okay. It doesn't have to be expensive wine because we're gonna. Yeah, take I remember. Out alcohol. I remember so when I was in culinary really school. Bad. One of the chefs that told me was, "You don't have to use expensive wine to cook, but at least use a wine that you can drink. Because if if you're willing to drink the wine, yeah, exactly. then that means it's good <laughs> enough to cook with." <laughs> <laughs> Okay, speaking, speaking of wine, Dan, um, since chef, you're using uh, wine to cook. I'm gonna use wine to like <laughs> hydrate. Spe- speaking hey. of which, Paolo, <laughs> napansin ko lang ha, si Chef nagluluto, bising busy oh, naka on yung tatlong burner niya. Ikaw, yeah. kailan ka magsistart? <laughs> I, I know. I, 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 I'm not even breaking a sweat, Mike. Yeah. The oven is busy. <laughs> I, I, that is, this is how confident I am wow. that I'm going to win this competition. I'm not yeah. drinking a sweat. See, I'm just <laughs> drinking wine. <laughs> so, um, we will let yeah. the alcohol evaporate, you know, so the, the, mm-hmm. the taste will be more intense. Right. And that's clear. So, I'm going to add some uh, peperoncino, we call it, uh, but it's uh, oh. like the chili flakes. My, gr- uh, my grinder for the following chili flakes, oh. Alam ko lang yung sa bag chili flakes na siya. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Especially when you uh, oh, the one that you yeah. get from Asian restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's here when we call uh, uh, when mm-hmm. we say pepperoni. Yeah. Pepperoni. In uh, in our term what is pepperoni? Salami. Uh, yeah. Salami. Yung, Correct. My pepper shack. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni here is the the the, the oh. peppers. So, so chef, um, so it, since you you cook a lot and this is your profession, so when do you when you go to other restaurants, do you become very critical of their food? Yeah, this is the bad side of uh, knowing how to cook, and uh, you know, in the restaurant we are cooking like uh, in every like very yeah. detailed manner. 
Yeah. It's where I'm doing like a fine dining restaurant. So I'm very critical with the food, but I don't, I don't uh, like criticize in front of them, but it's, right. it's with me. But yeah. it's really hard to like uh, satisfy yourself with other food. Like, like it has to be more than your food to yeah. be satisfied. Right. I'm not saying that the other food is, is bad, but yeah. I'm just saying it's so hard that you, when you understand, uh, when you understand things yeah. like behind the scenes. Like it's, it's, yeah, sorry, so go on, go on, your, Paolo. Go ahead, I'm sorry. So I was just going to ask, so what is your favorite dish to make? Um, in Italy? Yeah, in, in Italy. Uh, what? I love to cook octopus. octopus. Wow. It's my favorite dish. Yeah. We've got it in the menu and I change it like in the menu. I change the menu every three months, every season. Yeah. So everything is nice and fresh yes. according to the season. And uh, the octopus is one of my favorite wow. uh, seafood. Yeah. To yeah. eat and to cook. <laughs> eat and to cook. And it's, it's, isn't that one of the hardest to um, cook as well? Because it's either undercooked yeah. or yeah. overcooked, right? Yeah. yeah. If you're undercooked, it's uh, unedible. <laughs> so if it's overcooked, it's, it's tough like uh, rubber. Yeah. My favorite oh, sorry. Is, if it's overcooked, it's, it's going to be like very, very soft. But it's... It, it, it's not meant to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm putting some uh, yes. coconut milk. Okay. Yes. From the Philippines. <laughs> I guess. <The> Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. No, uh, uh, Paolo, I was just going to so, add on to what like, what Chef, what Chef uh, Morris was saying. Like, when you have that knowledge of the kitchen and you have that understanding and like, of the hard work it takes to cook something, yeah. and then parang, it's more of a, yeah. It's not the fact that you are saying that the food is bad, but you know how much effort it takes to cook. Right. And when 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 someone kind of, yeah. for lack of a better word, half asses a recipe that's so simple that they don't even yeah. do the simplest thing like season it properly or season it well. But um, you as a chef, you get yeah. like, offended. It's like this is the most easiest thing yeah. that you could have done to elevate your food, yeah. and you don't even yeah. care that much to even put a bit of salt on it. <laughs> so. <Exactly. laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, are you talking about my <laughs> pork tenderloin right now? Is that, is that what you're talking about, Mike? Because um, I, I'm I'm hearing like you're being no, very no, critical it's not of my your cooking. cooking. Paul. Paul, I'm, just, I'm, that's, just joking. I'm saying that if you go to a restaurant that's charging you food, right? But when yeah, 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 when it's right. your friend that that's invites right. you over no, to just... eat food, you just eat it, okay? <laughs> Don't be rude. That's right. Just sit there <laughs> exactly. and eat the free food. <laughs> Speaking of so I, uh, check <laughs> so yeah. I, I, uh, I put our pasta oh, nice. in another pan okay. and now I'm gonna cook it with the uh, with our sauce because now it's uh, like half cooked basically mm -hmm. right now technically mm -hmm. so we're gonna finish it with some of our sauce and then some of our pasta water all right so actually, guys, uh, the simplest yeah. the recipe is the execute. hardest to, <laughs> to perfect. Yeah. yeah, to execute. Because you know, when you go to one, it's already done. Right. It's already done. Because the more complicated dishes, you can remove it because it's so yeah. many, very complex. Yeah. So, wow, so what, ka, Chef? The simple, simple yung recipe ni Paolo. Complicated pala, Paolo. <laughs> I don't know about you, chef, but um, <laughs> mine is very mine is very simple, and um, I don't think I missed any step. If I if I did, no. then I am sorry. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so chef, you have uh, two lovely boys and yeah, yeah. Uh, your beautiful wife. Um, do you cook for them every every day? Like, um, actually, at home, it's more of my wife. You know, my my, my chef is my wife. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> so uh, at home, I normally cook. Like, uh, if she don't feel like cooking, okay, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna I'm gonna cook for us. 
So that's the time I take over. But okay. most of the time she cooks for us. And she's a really good yeah. uh, cook as well. Wow. And Actually, all of the family, the whole family knows how to cook. So. And I think most of the times, right? And they always say like, my cooking is the best. Like you go to this family and they say, oh, my cooking is the best. You know, like yeah. I have so many Italian friends. Sort of, uh, like Filipinos, right? My adobo is better That's than your right. adobo. Oh, yeah? That's right. And it's, and it's always your mother's cooking that oh. is the best. Paolo. Yes, exactly. Wala ka sa lolo ko. Oh my God, my God. <laughs> What I love about Sicily mm-hmm. and Sicilians, they're very yeah. uh, easygoing. They're very warm, just okay. like the so, Filipino. So family. sorry, I'm I'm right. so bad at geography. Yeah. So where where is Sicily located in Italy? I know where Italy is. It's in Europe, but south. where? It's south. It's the south. south. In the there's an island in the south. Oh, it's so an actual it's own island. Yeah, it's actually an island. Actually, if you want, if I want to go to Rome or to Milan, wow. I have to take flight from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's about Rockies, right? There's a lot of Rocky Mountains, I believe. Yeah, it's really beautiful. You should, you guys should visit us here. No, definitely. It, it's it's uh, Sicily and Italy is one of yeah. one of our bucket lists. Except like COVID hit, we were gonna go like last year, but unfortunately, COVID and everything else. Chef, I have a question. So your kids, do they, um, do you cook Filipino food for them? Do they eat Filipino food? Yeah, yeah, they eat Filipino food, nice. especially adobo. And uh, I also brought, uh, I, I also brought, the, how do you say that? The Buddha fight in the family. The whole, I oh, invited nice. the whole family and we did a Buddha fight with the banana leaf and I asked yeah. them to use their hands. And they're, uh, they liked it. They That's loved crazy. it. crazy. Yeah, go ahead, follow. So wait, my, my pork, Sorry, my pork is just, uh, I think it's ready. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mine is, yeah, actually, almost done. It's almost done, done too. So I'm just going to take out my pork here. Hey. Oh. I'm just going to show oh, you. Wow. 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 I can smell your pork here. Beautiful, wow. isn't it? Nice. Beautiful. I just I just season it with uh, seasoning salt. Um, gar- they say garlic is really mm-hmm. good with pork. Yeah, it's like the best pair: garlic and then onion powder and you know something something like pepper. But the secret is oh, in the gravy. The gravy in the gravy. Yes, and I will What's let the you. Secret? I will What's let you in with my secret. It's in my cupboard. Okay. <laughs> this is so, the moment uh, we've been waiting for. What's that? <laughs> this is what you've been waiting for. It's a, it's clubhouse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, so in the, is in that the show, last one? No, it's not. But it's the uh, it's the uh, the secret. Okay, so if you make a mistake in this gravy, then um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like you really don't have to cook. You don't have any right to be in the kitchen. Awesome. Yeah. You can never go wrong with that. Uh, just you so that everyone knows, we are not sponsored by Clubhouse. <laughs> this was not brought to you by Clubhouse. Um, <laughs> okay. Clubhouse, the a man. <laughs> yes, the Kenna man. Maybe, yeah, yeah if, if you want to. But you know what? Uh, while we're doing this, I just want to give a quick shout out to um, the producer Nate who made this happen. Producer, say who you Migs. Yes, Kuya Migs. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kuya Migaka, really, for um, for producing and making um, this possible. So nice, nice, uh, nice. Live chat today. So chef, uh, you're almost done. Uh, I see. Yeah, I'm almost done. My pasta is done. Okay, right here. that looks gorgeous. Check it out. Okay. And uh, my seafood is. It takes only two minutes mm-hmm. to to cook. So okay. So done. So I can uh, play it right now if you want. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna use this plate. Maybe. Yeah. I'll go down like this so you can. You call Paolo. See are you well. plating now? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I well, <laughs> pressure naman ba yung nakakainis? Yeah. Um, chef na lang. Chef, let's wash hey, your plate. You want to plate your dish? You want to plate your dish? I, I will. Okay, fine. Okay, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, will yes, Paolo. Plate I believe dish. in you, Paolo. Go, go. You know what would be a good partner with this uh, growth 
is I have, um, sorry, I have this uh, mash oh, sweet nice. potato. Nice. It's a honey uh, mashed potato. I don't know if we had this last week or two days ago. <laughs> I, <laughs> came from my friend. So I don't know if it was wow. from uh, two yeah. days ago. Or oh my before. goodness. But I'm gonna I think it's better, it. no? It should. Uh, it should taste better. That you it gave does. it time for that honey to really seep in to that sweet potato, Paolo. Yes. But uh, you yeah. can't see it, but um, the... The meat oh, nice. is so tender. I think as long as there's no amag on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Filipino food is always better in like um, in the yeah. third heating. Is that, is oh that a wow, chef! It's true. Oh look at that, chef! Na inis naman ako sa yon. Na na yar. So sorry, chef. Chef, tanong lang po, chef Morris. So is yes. how do you keep it to stay so green, or is is it because you use the frozen peas? Uh, and you no, it's uh, actually the blanching. It's from the blanching. Okay, so it activates the the yeah. the chlorophylls yeah. from, the, from the vegetable, so it it's, it it turns to be like oh, okay. more vibrant. So that's the point. Better like the, if you were if you took too long, let's say you made this way too early. And then you tried presenting it now. Iba yung kulay, no? Parang hindi na siya fresh. Yeah, you will, uh, you, you will lose the color. So that's why you know talaga if you go to a restaurant yeah. and like their their sauce is very yeah. vibrant and fresh, then you know they just made the sauce. Nice. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. The chef, that's beautiful. Thank you. So, okay. Yeah, our pasta. And, uh, this one. So if you're a yeah. vegetarian, you can also like eat it like this yeah. with a piece. Uh -huh. If you put, you can nice. crush some almonds mm -hmm. or walnuts, you know, like yeah. to have some texture. So, sorry, so but, that is that is just a pasta, and then you're gonna assemble it, put it together with the seafood. Is that right? Yeah. So okay. actually, uh, it will also help to uh, to add. Some dimension to our uh, mm -hmm. pasta. Because, uh, the coconut milk is another another yeah. uh, taste, you know. So you won't get tired of the sweetness of the of the piece. So that's the point. You remember if you remember, I put some uh, uh, peperoncino on the uh, chili flakes. Yeah. Uh, chili yeah. flakes. So to put yeah. some bite on it. Mm. You know? That's amazing. So, and then the, the seafood, it will make it uh, even more tastier. Wow. That looks really good. And I'm going to pour some... Uh, chef, chef, can we yeah. feature this on our... Uh, can we feature the recipe in our newspaper this month? Yes, yes, why not? That will be why perfect. Not? Sure, we can actually do this at home. It's, yeah. You see, you saw I, I did it like what? 10 yeah. minutes? Oh, 15 quick. minutes? Yeah. So I'm going to pour some of my uh, sauce. My goodness. Oh, look at Paolo, that. quick. Gorgeous. Why are you dripping so much pork? My love now. It's. My love now. It's not, it's not as, uh, the consistency is not as nice as yours, but I think I did what I could. So now I'm adding some uh, herbs. Oh, wow. like, uh, Do you have your own herb garden, chef? Yeah, actually, we have our uh, garden mm -hmm. in uh, my in-laws, and oh. my uh, father-in-law oh, wow. is taking care of it. But uh, it's for the restaurant. It, we're using it for the restaurant. Okay, chef. So, what's the name of your restaurant again? So you are um, uh, you and your wife. You have a family restaurant in Sicily. What's the name again? Just in case. Uh, it's called the uh, Ristorante La Bottega del Porto. Oh, Ristorante La Bottega del Porto. Del Porto. Del Porto. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, we are uh, making some uh, fresh seafood yeah. the recipes or dishes uh, with uh, some, uh, how do you say that? 
oh. Filipino influence. We're we kind of doing. I was actually going to ask dishes. if you've been able to marry or pair some Italian dishes with Filipino. Nice. Yeah, I actually okay. do. Uh-huh. Every, every dish I make is with uh, Filipino culture oh. and the Filipino touch. Filipino, yeah. A little so, bit of fusion. Uh, again, I'm going to put some uh, oh. smoked paprika. Yes. Mm. Wow. Just to add more uh, taste and a uh, different uh, yeah. color. dimension, Dang different uh, contrast of taste, and also contrast of it's, color. Uh, it's yeah. nice for uh, plating. Yeah. So Actually, that's it. Chef, that is also the secret of my roast pork: smoked oh. paprika. Oh, nice! <laughs> I love, I love paprika. So this is our dish for today. Hold on, I'm just gonna. We're gonna highlight Yay. this. Wow. We're gonna make. We're gonna make chef screen be the main screen. So this is your chef. Show that show that yeah. dish one more time. What's the name of this dish? What do you call it? Uh, this is uh, lasagna riccia mm-hmm. with uh, green pea cream and wow. uh, mixed seafood wow. with coconut milk. That looks that delicious, does. chef. <laughs> that looks amazing. I what hope you that? like it. I hope you you, you can try it, but <laughs> unfortunately. You know, you can't. So. Oh, no, man. Drum oh, okay, rolls, okay, man. okay. Drum, drum rolls, okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. <laughs> Chef, Chef Paolo, what have you brought us today? <laughs> I brought um, roast pork. I put some tomatoes. I put some tomatoes for dimension and contrast. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> tomatoes that has, that has been in my fridge for like two weeks now. And then uh, the mashed potato or the mashed sweet potato wow, has been there okay. for me. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's like, um, uh, how do you say that? Aged. Yeah, aged, 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 uh, aged, aged mashed potato. <laughs> correct. Aged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Correct. So, so chef, uh, before we uh, almost end this conversation, um, yeah. so if you are not a chef, what do you think your profession would be? I think it's either... Uh, videographer because I really love uh, photo sh- photo shooting and uh, videography uh, or or a musician singer musician singer musician yeah. and um, so can you give us a little bit of sample there oh okay <laughs> I'm a bit rough <laughs> but, um, <laughs> okay what am, what am I gonna say uh, maybe an old song that I used to sing uh, from uh, uh, it's from Maroon 5. It's called Sunday Morning. Okay. <clears throat> and Sunday morning rain is falling. Still some cover shed, some scared. Clouds are shutting us in moments unforgettable. It's the fate of morning I met. But things are just so crazy, living life with start to do. And I will gladly hit the road, get up and go if I know that someday it will bring me back to you. That someday it will bring me back to you. Ooh. That may be all I need. And that the she is all I see. Come and rest your bones with me. Love it on Sunday morning. Not never one week. That's it. Thanks so much. Chef Umogi can do wow. 100 times, probably. You know, Paolo, <laughs> today is Mother's Day. Yeah, today is Sunday. <laughs> I don't need to go to church anymore. I just went to church. <laughs> I've just been brought, brought to church. Brought to the chef. church, Mike. You <laughs> yeah. been brought to the church. No, but seriously, Chef, uh, thank you. And I, I know that thank you, you so are. You are inspiring a lot of like Filipinos around the world in Canada or anywhere else to be, um, you know, yeah. follow their passion. You know, it didn't start as a passion for you. It started as a, as a necessity, but later on yeah. it became a passion. And now you're pursuing this and you've been amazing in, in, in this culinary industry. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Before, uh, before I say goodbye, I want to say uh-huh. thank you guys. Paul and Mike, and of course, Kuya Migs. And uh, can I oh, greet yeah. some uh, people? Of course. Uh, of course, I'm going to greet my uh, happy Mother's Day to my, uh, my, my wife, my mom, and uh, to everyone. Um, I want to say hi to my family in the Philippines, Zeraina Katanghal, Mikhail Danzen, 
my sister, my brother-in-law in China, because they're still there, Marthy and uh, Carlos. And my wife, of course, they're here watching there on the other side. <laughs> so my wife, Maria Grazia, Mama Rosa, and uh, my, my classmate, A.R. Miliares, Chick Boys in, Ca in Canada as well. And um, I think that's it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And we Thank hope you. that um, someday you, you'll be able to come here to Canada, to Calgary, and we will be able to taste your yeah. amazing cooking. Or, or one Hopefully, of the other yeah. two. Sure, we don't sure. mind going Hopefully. there either, because I heard. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's true. Yeah. That's or right. Here, yes. That's yes. right. We don't mind going there either and um, making yeah. it a vacation. We'll get, we'll get Chef Morris sure, to tour sure, us sure, on all sure. the best pots to eat as well. Perfect. I'm going to give you a bottle of wine. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking so, forward to uh, Also, before we end up going, we just want to thank you very much. Thank you, Mabuhay Calgary, for letting us be a part of this. Uh, we also want to thank talaga yung mga viewers, yeah. viewership, salamat po. We want to thank um, si Ati Nene thing. Jules, salamat. Um, thank you for everything. But shout out daw muna sa Nene Jules vlog. Na shout out ko na ba yan? <laughs> Did you? Not yet, but yeah, Nanny Jules vlog. Yes. Uh, follow her on YouTube. Um, yeah, and uh, don't forget to like um, Mabuhay page on Facebook. We also have Instagram, Mabuhay Calgary. And um, so Mabuhay Calgary is the home of Filipino yes. news in Alberta. And we bring you the freshest news, not just um, in, in Alberta and Canada, but we bring you the freshest news from yes. the Philippines as well. And around the world. So, please, guys, don't forget yeah, to. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't forget to uh, follow my page on uh, Facebook, Chef Morris Dazen. Yes, my uh, Instagram, and of course on YouTube. Uh, every, uh, new yes. recipes every week, and some live collaborations. As well, Thank guys. You so much, if you guys. are looking for where and, those uh, uh, the names of those channels, they are in the description over here, as well as they are in yeah. description on the bottom. So please be sure to check out the description to get more information on where you can find Chef Morris Dancing on Facebook. You can check him out on his community, All About Food. You can find him on his YouTube channel, Chef Morris Danzin. Or, you know, hook up with him on Insta at Morris underscore Danzin. Is that how, is that how it goes nowadays, the kids? <laughs> hook up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But again, Chef, grassy and um, thank you grazie so much. Mille. Grazie mille. Grazie. 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 And have All right, day, everybody. Everyone. On behalf of my boy, Calgary, thank you. Buonanotte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Love you. Are we, are we still on air? We're done. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank funny. you, thank you, Chef. Huh? Thank yes, you. Yes, that was I great. Really enjoyed it. Thanks, get in here. That was fun. No, no, thank, thank God, Mike is there. Just go on. Oh my, thank you. Oh my God, Mike. That was good. Thank you. I, I didn't know what to say half of the time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, Mike, thank you. Oh, Mike, thank you. Oh, Mike, thank Thank you. Hey, congratulations, well guys. Done. Well done. Eh? Parang <laughs> professional. Galing, galing. Walang walang ka effort effort yung cooking do siya para sa init ng tubig ah. Ano? Tapos na. We have made wag ka. Nakita ko si Paolo. Linabas lang sa oven tapos na. Oo. Galing. Oo, intindi nga ito. Nakalimutan din sabihin ni Paolo na kakatong tayo sa oven. Ako talaga ang winner. No but I think we got a really good format here. Nice. I, yeah, yeah, guys. I think uh, it's really nice. Really entertaining. Just need to do some, you know, of course, uh, how to say that, advertisements and all yeah. that. Yeah.